Hi everybody. Here to go over a topic that I think needs some revision. First of all, I'm an average Tarkov player. Look at that, that, stats, stats. Not great, right? Not great. Not the best, not the worst. You know what, whatever. The difference is, the difference is, is that I use a controller to play. And I don't just use it as a meme, um, which is why I think the topic needs revision is because all the videos that you'll see out there is, yeah, you'll get advice on how to set it up, but all of it's just live commentary. And I hate live commentary. That's not how I learn. I learn best when somebody takes the time to make a well-made video. This isn't going to be a well-made video, but it's the best I can do. So kind of like the audio quality. Uh, apologies. Uh, my kid messed with my good mic and it now no longer works. So you're getting just my normal ass headset that all my friends have to listen to. So consider yourself in the club. First things first, you're going to want to open Steam. Steam is the only way that this could work. This way. There's other ways, but this is how I do it. So you go down here, you select Add Game. You check mark whatever game you want. I already have Tarkov installed, so I'm just picking some random one, some bullshit game that nobody really plays anymore. You hit the select, and it adds it. Then you want to go up here to the corner, full screen mode, have your ears utterly torn apart by their audio. Then what you're going to do is insert the controller and then you'll be able to freely move around the menu this only works in full screen mode then you select tarkov go to your shortcuts you go to controller configuration and it brings up your entire controller fig configuration here left mouse right mouse controls buttons all this stuff the real key features the double tap and the holds so you do regular press r reload double press l that's what i macro for interaction and long press is another option. That's what really makes this controller setup worth using rather than just being a gimmick. It's actually effective. And since it's mine now, you can actually look this up, macro it yourself, and you can go in and change all the stuff about it. So then you're gonna wanna select it in the launcher. You're gonna wanna keep moving your mouse around just to make sure it still works. But you're gonna be using your mouse using the right stick on your controller rather than the mouse. Then you click play. I like to keep it moving because sometimes the mouse will actually stop and not work. And then you have to close it out, reset it. That's what I'm doing here because it stopped moving. The loading circle stopped moving when I was moving it with my controller. So you got to exit the whole game out, go back. Doesn't really matter. It's just some like 10 seconds. Hit play again and it always works on the second time for me. And then you'll see the loading the loading bar, the little loading icon is still moving and that's how you know you've made it. Use the left stick to move around. You can't do fine movements because it's still WASD. Hold square, you can check mag. Tap square, normal reload. X is jump. Aim is left trigger. What's really cool about this is that you can actually macro two buttons together. I have that set up where if you hold L3 and R3 along with your uh, R1, you'll actually change your scope and change your magnification. It's the same way with tacticals. You hit your, I hit my uh, left directional D-pad, my L1 will switch the mode and my L2 will turn it on so you can turn on and off a flashlight on the fly. Tap circle to crouch. Hold circle to go prone. You double tap circle to initiate cap slot so you can walk. You can still use the scroll wheel for different variations of walking speed, but I mean, that's pretty impractical when you're using a controller. So there is a lot of kind of maintenance you have to do with your hotkeys to really get everything meshing right and working right. Things like blind firing, I never use anyway, so I just kind of left them blank. There's some other things like I have to use my keyboard for, um, but they're not things that I use regularly. They're things that are very not combat oriented, like folding a stock. I'm gonna let it play a little bit longer just so you can kind of see what my hands are doing, the buttons I'm pressing. I'm getting adjusted to the double buttons and the double tapping wasn't really that big of a deal. It was way easier than me learning mouse and keyboard, trust me. That shit was rough, uh, which is why I spent, you know, five hours of my life doing this. There's just a lot of different options you can do here. You can set it up as standard as you want, as complicated as you want. 
there's really a lot of freedom here. So you will have a disadvantage in aiming and doing those really quick adjustments, like a quick 180. Um, luckily, Tarkov is a game where you can outposition and outmaneuver rather than just outshoot. You don't need to just whoever gets the first headshot wins because you always know where they're at. It's you can flank, you can move, and you can burp. So I could go over all the ins and outs, all the minor details that you can do. Uh, but if you go in and figure it out yourself, that's the best way to do it. So you take this guide, go into an offline raid. The coolest part about it is that you can actually change the settings on the fly. So you don't need to like exit the game, restart it in order to just test something out. You can literally just go over back to Steam, change whatever button or setting you want. Then what you can do is just test it right there in an offline raid. That's what I did. And it took me like four or five hours, but then again, I didn't have a video quite this in depth. Other videos I've seen never really went over exactly like the small things of how to set it up the best. It was always, they're always very loose, very live commentary. And I don't, I don't know about you guys, but I do not like the live commentary informative videos. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a like. I appreciate that. If you subscribe, um, 10,000 years of good luck. And then comment down below to let me know what other kind of videos you guys want to see. I'll give you a moment to do that. Are you going to do it? I think you should. That'd be cool. Be pretty neat. You know, like the algorithm and everything. Is this awkward yet? Should, should I blink?